friends, Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes year round and inviting you along on our adoption journey. So, unfortunately, it's that time of year. Summer is well on the way, and that means that our local stores are pulling out all of their back to school supplies and putting them on their back to school prices, which means that I am ready to make my pencil packs. So what I've done is I made a spreadsheet. I did a little bit of research into who has the best prices this year and where I'm going to shop for my things. You do you. This is just my pencil bag, pencil pack price point <laughs> video, letting you know what I try to spend on each bag. So I do have them nice and printed out spreadsheet style, and it will be linked in the description box below with a lot of other printables that I have that are totally free and you can use as much as you want. Give it to your church friends, put it in other groups, whatever you wanna do with it, printables, go for it. So let's get started. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how I pack my pencil bags and then give you some tips and tricks if you pack differently than me. So the way that I do it is I buy in bulk and try to do them all at this time of year so that I have plenty for the rest of the year and going into next year to get us until next summer. So I buy a lot right now because for the most part, this is going to be the best time of year to get the best prices on those pencil packs. So um, without further ado, the first thing you need to make a pencil pack is the pack. So if you are making these for your boxes and you're buying in bulk, I suggest that you buy them on Amazon. And these are the bags, I'm sure you've seen all of us use this or a very similar type of bag. I was very leery at first, but then once I got them, they're great quality. The zippers are great quality. Um, the stitches is ooh, are great quality. I really like these bags. I think they're actually a better price, I mean, a better quality than the fabric ones you can get at Walmart that are about the same size. So. These come in a pack of 24, they're on Amazon, and they're $14.99, which makes each one of these 63 cents. So if you're doing the math, it's actually like 62 point something, um, but for all of these prices, I'm gonna round up because inflation and you know all this stuff. So these have all been rounded up to the closest cent for you in figuring out how much to spend. So, for the pencil packs, I recommend Amazon. But if you're just buying one or two, my favorite place to buy a single pencil pack is actually year-round at Five Below. They're always $0.97, cents, something like that. Um, and that's my favorite place year-round for a single pencil pack. <laughs> Excuse me. Moving on, the next thing is yellow pencils. So, here's an example. I have four of them. If they are pre-sharpened, I just put some masking tape on here so that they don't poke through or mark up anything else in the pencil bag. Um, I always include four. Um, these are actually from Amazon, which is a great deal if you're buying them at any other time of the year. But at this time of the year, my favorite pencils to buy are these. They are the Pin and Gear pencils and you get 12 of them for 47 cents, making them roughly four cents a piece. So when I put four per pack, I'm only spending 16 cents per bag. So this is what it looks like. This is my recommendation. Again, these are at Walmart right now for 47 cents. The next thing I like to put into every pencil pack are novelty pencils. So these ones here are actually from Dollar Tree and pretty much year round, no matter what, this is the best price that I have found for a novelty pencil. I like to keep it around 10 cents and under, um, but at Dollar Tree, you pay $1.25 and you get 12 sometimes. Sometimes it's only 10, 
12. So a novelty pencil for me, a good deal is 10 cents, 11 cents, 12 is pushing it. That's what I like to spend on my novelty pencils. So this is going right in our pencil pack. But pro tip, after Christmas, then after Easter, no, Valentine's comes next, right? Yes, after Christmas, after Valentine's Day, and after Easter, you can usually get these amazing pencils for half off, or if you're really feeling lucky, waiting to 75% off to pick up these pencil packs. They come 10 for a dollar is their regular price. So I like to pick them up when they're 50 cents each, and then that makes these pencils five cents. So this is a great deal. If you can stock up on these after those holiday clearances, this is a great place to get um, novelty pencils for five cents each, which is a steal of a deal. But at this time of year, I still think Dollar Tree has the best bang for your buck. Pretty much that's it at Dollar Tree that I get uh, school supply wise is just the novelty pencils. Then since we're on the pencil roll, the next thing that I put in all of my pencil packs are colored pencils. So um, you can put 12, which I think is great and amazing, but because I pack in bulk, I break mine up and I put six colors per pencil bag. Um, my favorite ones to get right now are actually the pen and gear pencils. I tested these out. I think that they are just a great quality of the Crayola and the Crazy Art, but they are cheaper. Right now, the colored pencils at Walmart, that's the pen and gear brand. Sorry, I already threw away um, the packaging for all of them that I bought. They are 54 cents for 12 which makes each colored pencil five cents each. And my little pack of six cost me 30 cents per pencil pack. Whew, a lot of peas in this video. Popping the peas, if, if you guys are familiar with what that means. It just means that p -p -p I'm making that sound a lot in this video. So colored pencils are the next thing in here. Again, five cents per colored pencil is my goal. Also, after holidays, sometimes they will have colored pencils then too. Um, but even then, they, they cost roughly the same as these back to school prices. So I only pick up a few at that time of year. Next is crayons. And I'm sorry, I already threw away the packaging for these as well. But if you watch the channel at all, you know that my go-to crayon is Crazy Art. I love them. I love them better than Crayola. I know that's controversial. <laughs> I know, a, uh, a not um, commonly agreed with um, opinion, but it is my opinion. I like Crazy Art the best, no matter the price. So um, I think right now, if you do prefer Crayola, they are 50 cents a pack at Walmart. And if you prefer the pin and gear ones, which I do not, I think they are only like 30 cents a piece um, for a whole 24 pack. But the ones that I put in my pencil pack are these crayons. Um, they are 40 cents for a pack of 12 and I put seven in each um, bag. I do that because that's what fits in these little zipper bags that I get from Daiso. Um, you could put eight, you could put six, whatever is best for you. You could put the whole 24 pack, but what I do is I break them up and make sure that they get a nice array of like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple to the best of my ability and put seven crayons in each bag. And so since they are two cents a piece, I, this is 14 cents worth of crayons for me in each little pencil pack. The next thing that I put in there is a large eraser. Now this, my friends, this is the must get no matter what, this is a great deal. It is marketed for teachers so that they can give these out as rewards throughout the year. It is a hundred count. It even has this little apple on it. Here's what it looks like outside of its little cardboard housing. It's kind of heavy, so you might need to get um, your husband or your son or a worker at Walmart to help you lift this because it is, I would say, maybe even like close to eight pounds. Um, but these are reward erasers 
and they are $4.97 for 100 erasers. Look how great they look and the a variety of color that you get and they have these adorable little sayings on them. They come out to five cents a piece and I put one in every single bag. So I pick those up at this time of year for sure. The next thing that I put in my basic pencil pack is eraser toppers. Um, I bought so many of these over the years that I don't have to get any right now, but I did do some research for you and found that the, the cheapest place to pick them up, again, shocker, is Walmart, and they are 47 cents for 24, which makes each one of these two cents. So for six cents, I go ahead and I include three in every pencil bag. So it's getting pretty full. This is what it looks like so far. We're doing great. The next thing that I include are scissors, and this is what they look like. You can get them from Pin and Gear. This is actually, it was a two pack. I've already taken them off. Um, the two packs are going to come in pink and purple or blue and green, and the two packs are $1.47, or you can get a single one for 74 cents. It costs the same no matter what. I buy them in two packs because I buy them in bulk. So this is what they look like. Um, the ones at Target cost exactly the same. They just get different colors, and um, they're the equivalent um, quality. So this is the pin and gear scissor. I went ahead and picked them up at Walmart because I was already at Walmart. So there you go. Walmart and Target for me is the best bang for your buck for scissors. And that's what I like to put in my bags. The next thing is pencil sharpeners. This is another thing that I love to get at Amazon and I buy them in bulk. But when I say bulk, I mean bulk. So these are my favorite pencil sharpeners. I tested these against multiple different types of sharpeners, uh, metal sharpeners, Fiskar sharpeners, Dollar Tree sharpeners, um, pin and gear sharpeners. I tested these bad boys against everything and I think these did the best job. I still go ahead and include two in every pencil bag just for backup because if you don't have these, you can't you can't use your pencil. <laughs> so these are great. However, they come in 144. When I say bulk, I mean bulk. So um, I pay $13.99 for 144, which makes these roughly 10 cents each. If you don't wanna buy 144, you can also get a 10 pack uh, or maybe 12 pack. I think it is a 12 pack at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and they have different shapes like some of them look like flowers, some of them are stars and some of them are hearts. They typically only have that set at back to school and it is getting harder and harder for me to find every year. Um, but it is out there and it is comparable to the same price and it's close to the same quality, but I prefer these because they have little caps. So I know that 144 is crazy, but maybe you have some packing buddies that you wanted to go in and split the cost. Maybe you wanted to donate some to your church, um, or maybe you wanna go ahead and throw these in with a couple of pencils in a Ziploc baggie and send those into the distribution center as filler pencil packs, which is a lovely idea. So for, again, $13.99, these pencil sharpeners equal 10 cents a piece, and I put two in every bag. That means that I'm putting 20 cents into this bag for pencil sharpeners. The next thing on my list are pins, and these are the ones I like to get. I like to get these Bic, um, round stick extra life for 60 a count of 60 and at back to school prices only the black for some reason goes on sale for five dollars and 44 cents and you can pick these up at walmart making pins about nine cents each um if you watch amazon throughout the year sometimes the blue ones and the red ones will also go on clearance to about the same price and that's when i pick those up um, but if I'm being completely honest, for a basic pencil pack, all you really need is one black pen 
it is extra love and extra special to go ahead and include the red and the blue, which are a little bit harder to find at this price. But that's my price point for pins is nine cents each. Um, also, I just recently, where are they? I put them over here somewhere. Yes. Went to Kroger and they had these on sale for a dollar for 10 of them. I think that is a great deal. Um, it's a better deal than Dollar Tree because now they're doing 10 pens for $1.25. So again, I think you can get them for cheaper in bulk like this, or if you wait for um, back to school prices at like your grocery store, you can get them for cheaper than Dollar Tree. So these are the three pens that I'm going to include in here. And because they're nine cents each, I'm putting 27 cents into this bag. And the last thing that I include in my basic um, pencil pack is a novelty eraser, just because they're so much fun. Um, so you can get these guys so many places. I usually wait and get them on clearance um, when back to school prices are going to drop even lower is usually when I pick them up. But if you were looking for them right now and you want to know where to get them, I try to spend about 20 cents per eraser. So right now, Walmart has this amazing, I think it's 24 or 25 pack for $4.97, making each eraser 20 cents. Again, if that's too many for you and you don't want 24, they also have these guys right now on sale. This is a pack um, of eraser pals. And online, they said these were 97 cents. But when I bought them in the store, this was 88 cents. So, you know, I think a novelty eraser anywhere between 20 to 25 cents is a good deal for one of these. This packet here, I actually picked up to go with a Barbie. I think these are really fun to include as a Barbie accessory um, for Barbie to play, have play food. So that's why I picked these up. But Every box gets some sort of a novelty eraser. Another good tip for novelty erasers is again that after holiday clearance, Christmas, uh, Valentine's, Easter, they're all gonna have these fun novelty erasers usually themed to that holiday, but sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're just dinosaurs or, you know, generic things like stars. So be on the lookout on after holiday clearance for a price point of 20 cents or lower. So that's it. That is my whole basic pencil pack. And I will pack these up at this time of year and actually store them under my bed. And then when I go to pull all my items to make a box, I pick a um, pencil pack that coordinates with the gender and color of the box. And then I will add unique individual things as I go. So maybe I wanted to put a fun ruler in here, or maybe I wanted to add, it's for teenagers, so I'm gonna add a calculator, or maybe um, I want to put some really cute stickers, or I have a fun highlighter, or a novelty pin that's like a glitter pin, or one that has a dinosaur on it. That's when I add those extra things. But for my generic, basic, must-haves in every pencil pack. This is it. And total, we got the pencil bag for 63 cents, the four yellow pencils for 16 cents, the three novelty pencils for around 33 cents, the color six colored pencils for 30 cents, seven crayons for 14 cents, um, the large eraser for five cents, the eraser toppers for six cents, that's three, three eraser toppers equals six cents. A pair of scissors for 74 cents. Two pencil sharpeners for 20 cents. Three pens equaling 27 cents. And one novelty eraser for 20 cents, which makes each of my pencil bags $3.08 at the beginning. So I hope that this helps you when you're out hunting for your prices because it can get confusing out there to know like am I getting a good deal or not so if you want this pencil pack price point sheet I will link it in the description box down below so you can get an idea of how much I like to spend on my pencil pack 
Um, it's totally up to you. You can do whatever you want to do. You can pack one box, you can pack 20 boxes, you can pack no boxes and just send these pencil bags in as filler. Whatever your heart desires, I hope that you're joining along with us. Um, I do also have a couple other things I wanted to show you um, for my composition notebooks. This is a basic one, and right now these are running 50 cents. I think that's an okay deal. Um, I really like the plastic bendy ones, but they're 97 cents right now. Um, I went ahead and picked up a few of these basic ones, and then I'm hoping to pick up the nice plastic bendy ones on after school, after back to school clearance. Um, and again, I my price point on these is 50 cents. Even the plastic ones, I wait until they go on clearance and I hope to pick them up at 50 cents. So that is the price point that I do for these guys. I like to get them at Walmart because that's where I am when I'm doing my shopping, but Target has them for comparable prices as well. And then in case this is just like a clearance alert, I picked up 20 of these bad boys. How cute are they? It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Um, so I know that it is holiday themed, but I think it's great because these are meant to be Christmas gifts. These were at Bed Bath & Beyond, which if you haven't heard the news, they are going out of business. And so everything in their store right now is 50 to 70% off. I paid 17 cents for these. So I picked up all that they had in my store, which were 20. And I wanted to show you that a composition notebook will fit in this bag. So if you're worried about this not being a good bag for school supplies or for them to carry back and forth, um, I'm gonna open this up and show you that it actually works great for a pencil bag or a bag for school. So the composition notebook has gone down in here and then I will include this pencil bag just to show you. And there's still plenty of room for them to take a water bottle to school or maybe their sack lunch. This is a great little bag for them to carry back and forth to school. So if you have a Bed Bath & Beyond near you, these right now are on sale for 17 cents. So that's it. That is all for today. I hope that this encouraged you and helped you know what my price points are. Let me know what your price points are in the comments down below, or if you have an even better place that you get school supplies, let me know. Um, that is it for today. And in case no one told you, I love you lots.